In this video, we're going to be talking about how to find the midpoint of a segment, or the midpoint between two points. There's a midpoint formula. And it may look a little intimidating at first, but it's pretty basic. It's just actually taking the average of your x coordinates and the average of your y coordinates and saying that those are the coordinates of your midpoint. So let's do an example. I'm given these two points, M and N, and their coordinates. And I want to find the midpoint uh, of segment M, N. So we can label these first coordinates our X and Y, and these second coordinates our X and our Y. But because we have two coordinates, I'm just going to call this X1, Y1, and these X2, Y2. Didn't matter really what order I said that. These could have been the twos, and those could have been the ones. It won't matter what order we add in. So I'm going to take my x coordinates, and I'm going to find the average. I'm going to add them up and divide by 2. So 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And we'll take our y coordinates, and we'll find the average. So 0 plus 4 divided by 2, which is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So the midpoint of those two points, or the midpoint of segment MN, happens at this location, 3, 2. And we can test it. We can plot our original points, uh, 2, 0, and 4, 4. Here's 2, 0, and here's 4, 4. And right in the middle should be 3, 2. So you can always check your answers by graphing. Let's do another example. Again, we're given two points, and we're asked to find the midpoint between them. So again, label your x's and your y's, x1, y1, x2, y2. Find the average of your x-coordinates, just add up the two x-coordinates, negative 2 and negative 5. Negative 2 plus negative 5 is negative 7, and negative 7 divided by 2 is negative 3.5 or negative 3.5. We could leave our answer in this improper form, but if we have to graph it, uh, it's a little bit easier to check using a decimal or a mixed number. Let's add up our y's or find the average of our y values. Negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10, and negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. So our midpoint of that segment CD is negative 3.5, negative 5. And we can check our answers. So our original points, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 5, negative 7. And right in the middle there should be negative 3 and a half right here, negative 5. So again, verify by using your graph. So that's one type of question. You're given two endpoints and you're asked to find the midpoint. A different style of question would be. What if you're given the midpoint and you have to find an unknown endpoint? So, for example, we're given the midpoint coordinates here and we're given one of the endpoints, A. Now, we're trying to solve for that other endpoint so that these coordinates are right in the middle. Well, we're still going to use the same formula. We're still going to find the average of our x values, average of our y values. But this time we're able to substitute different values. We're able to substitute our midpoint value, and we're going to have to solve for one of these other x values. It really doesn't matter which. So I'm going to take my endpoint x value, negative 2. I'm going to plug it in for this x value. I'm going to play, take my x midpoint and plug it in at the x midpoint spot, and then just solve for that missing x. So multiply both sides by 2. You get negative 2 plus x equals 4, add 2 to both sides, and you get x is 6. So this is the x coordinate of uh, point B. Do the same thing with our y coordinates. Again, replace the end point y coordinate, negative 8, into one of these two spots, it doesn't matter which, and replace the y midpoint coordinate into this spot. And again, to undo this division by 2, we're going to multiply both sides by 2. We get negative 8 plus y equals negative 10. 
We're going to add 8 to both sides and get a y coordinate of negative 2. So now we got our point B coordinates, 6, negative 2. And we can check it by graphing. Uh, 2, negative 5 is supposedly the midpoint in between negative 2, negative 8, and 6, negative 2. So here's 6, negative 2. Here's negative 2, negative 8. And our midpoint does look like it's in the middle of those two points. Negative 2, negative, sorry, positive 2, negative 5. Do one more just like that. These are often the, the ACT or SAT style type questions. They love midpoint questions, and they definitely love to give you a midpoint and an endpoint and ask you to find the other endpoint. So again, we'll just substitute here as a X and a Y value endpoint, and here's our midpoint values. We'll substitute negative 4, 1 into one of these X values, and uh, substitute our X midpoint into this value. So to undo the division by 2 and multiply both sides by 2, we get negative 4 plus X equals 4, add 4 to both sides, and we get X is 8. Over here, substitute the y endpoint value into one of these spots and the y midpoint value into this spot right here. And undo that division by multiplying both sides by 2. 1 plus y now equals negative 4. And subtract 1 from both sides to get y equals negative 5. So we know that our other endpoint c is at the location 8, negative 5. And we can test it. Negative 4, 1 is one of the endpoints. 8, negative 5 is another endpoint. That's the one we found to place that midpoint of 2, negative 2 right in between them. So again, midpoints are just averages. Average of your x values, average of your y values. Good luck finding midpoints or finding endpoints.